Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from excelbasement.org. Today in this screencast, uh, I will discuss one of the query which is received by one of our very good client, Wurtzila. And uh, as an send this query to Sharjil and all the logics has been created by Sharjil Ghalib. Uh, I will explain all these logics included in this uh, worksheet and uh, the functions which has been added by the Sharjil to provide the solution to SN. So I will explain them one by one. The query was both sheets contain one identical column name identical column as you can see in master sheet uh, the column C contains the identical column as well as in the gap sheet worksheet uh, column C contains the identical column further he write now the query is that gap sheet contains different training names okay gap sheets contain different training names in the column D one name may contain four or five or maybe more trainings now I want to separate each training in front of every name so, uh, so let's suppose um, Mahmood Khalid is competence in more than one skill so Hassan needs that uh, in front of the Mahmood Khalid if he is competence in more than one um, skill so it should write in separate cells in front of that name next he wrote now I want to separate each training in front of every name please help me in this regard as soon as possible prior thanks so regarding that uh, first of all uh, the very quick solution without formula is approach to build a pivot table uh, so making a pivot table you have to select uh, these three columns and then you have to go to insert and here you can uh, insert the pivot table and you will find a pivot table in a new sheet you can change the layout as well classic pivot table layout and you can just drop down the um, identical numbers and then competences according to them so you will find that uh, this identical number 1001.98.26 contains four uh, different competencies so this is one of the solution but uh, let me explain you how we can use very common functions and uh, uh, extract the solution so let me just delete this worksheet so let me discuss the formula what we did is what Shajil did is uh, he created a summary sheet and uh, here he just compiled the data with the identical column employ codes names designation and location according to the identical column okay from the master sheet now the logic is the identical number let me just unfilter it okay the identical number let's say uh, let me pick any identical number from here so Bajwa Umar Abdullah has three competencies and he has one identical number that is one double zero one double nine seven zero okay and uh, Bajwa Umar Abdullah has three competencies so we have to create one of the logic that uh, in front of this name we can have all three competencies like in the different columns okay not in the different rows so what Sergil did is before the identical column he inserted two different columns two different blank columns uh, one for the combo and the other for the count now he just created a logic with the count if function so let me just explain you first of all what count if function is doing uh, by generating the serial numbers here so the first of all we have used count if let's say I have some random numbers 10 10 and it's repeating again 20 10 again 20 35 10 20 okay and I will use count a function to generate a, a incremental number every time 
and for the same numbers it will give me a different incremental number so starting with equals to count if the range and then criteria and I will make the first cell reference relative into absolute by pressing F4 okay pressing enter and uh, copy and paste downwards okay so for the first 10 number it gives me 1 for the second 10 it's repeating it's give me 2 increment of 1 for the third 10 it gives me 3 for the fourth 10 in the data it gives me 4 for the fifth 10 in the data in the list of these numbers it gives me 5 every time it gives me a different number a different serial number generating increment by 1 for the first 20 it gives me 1 for the second 20 it gives me 2 for the third 20 it gives me 3 likewise for the different numbers so we have used the count if logic okay and what it does is for the first cell it always gives you 1 for the second it's make the absolute the first cell and then moving downwards to, to this range and then checks in the criteria that it exactly matches and gives a different number okay so in the gap sheet he uses the count if function and every time the, if this number repeats in, in the list here it gives 2 3 4 and so on increment by 1 then he inserted another column and he just joined these two cells so we have m percent sign in excel or we can use concatenate to join more than two text strings okay so to apply the to make a combo of these two cells he uses the concatenate function equals to concatenate first in text one he uses c3 and then b3 so it makes uh, you can say this list is a primary list with a unique identical numbers every time okay and we have find and we have just generated a primary list for these competencies according to the employee names okay and we will use in this vlookup so for for the gap sheet we have used the count if function to generate uh, the new numbers every time if the number is repeating again by the incremental of one and then combo of these two uh, numbers okay let's move toward the summary sheet and the final conclusion of this screencast what Sergio did is he uses two functions if error and vlookup and you know these two functions are the most common functions vlookup uh, has been learned by many of the excel users now and this is very common function vlookup what vlookup does is generally it uh, fetch out the desired outcome from your database it fetch the results and uh, and it's to be note that uh, vlookup gives you the uh, transactional or unique uh, transaction uh, data fetches out data Be uh, it ignores the duplication all Be basically it does not gen uh, generate the duplicate results because it's a reference function and uh, vlookups all uh, the condition is to apply the vlookup function uh, your database should be an identical or the transactional does not repeat any row again and again because it will pick the first most uh, appropriate search for you and then gives you the result accordingly well let's discuss the vlookup here it's very simple vlookup in lookup value syntax we have um, made uh, two cell references here uh, joining with the m percent sign b3 b3 uh, b column is consist of the identical columns remember in the gap sheet right uh, so the identical numbers in the column b and then m percent to join with the g1 g1 uh, h1 and i1 this this raw this first raw consists of some numbers is is a serial number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then so on numbers of depend on number of trainings a person is a compatible competence in their skills so um, it's it's a serial number okay why we have used this uh, raw for this uh, serial number is basically in the gap sheet we have uh, generated a serial number for for the identical column 
okay so for lookup value if we if we just have a b3 and not the g1 we cannot uh, make a, a, a simple lookup based on our uh, this combo column and we cannot fetch the result from the column d so in the summary sheet we will start with the vlookup b3 and g1 for the one if if this identical number is repeating again so the training 2 will be searched in in that the gap sheet okay and will give me the a combo of this number from the gap sheet column a so uh, if you know that how to use the vlookup you will simply understand this logic that vlookup lookup value lookup value is the same as in the gap sheet column a okay we are not based on the column c for the identical column we are now based on the combo okay then the table array which is your uh, source of your database in the gap sheet from column a till h okay sometimes uh, you will find that uh, a 1 till h uh, 5000 uh, but uh, here this means that the whole column has been selected with with an uh, absolute so column a till column h whole column has been selected okay then column index number from where we have to fetch the output is 4 now going again to the gap sheet and here we have to fetch the results from the column D and column D is the fourth column in Excel so we have put the four here and for the false because it's the exact match exactly match with combination of this and this two numbers which is right here in the column A of the gap sheet combo okay similarly this and this combo is included in the gap sheet of co column a so we are looking up with these numbers not with the these numbers okay and uh, why we have used the if error because if we don't use if error then if we look up doesn't find any data according to these uh, these identical numbers so it will gives you a uh, excel error and to hide that excel error we have used the if error function okay another quick method uh, instead of using this helper raw uh, basically helper raw and helper columns sometimes uh, makes our queries very easier to uh, build uh, and very helpful but uh, instead of uh, using these serial numbers we can uh, generate this serial number in uh, within in our formula by using the column function let me just explain you how column function works equals to column a1 bracket close and then copy and paste toward the right side so b1 c1 d1 okay so column a always gives you the number one by using the column function b1 because column b is the is the second column in the excel spreadsheet column c is the third so this gives me an incremental of one like serial number that sergil has just used this row one in this uh, helper as an helper row so i can use uh, instead of g1 here i can use this column function okay and the good way is that if you copy and paste it downwards it will still gives you one so you have don't have to confuse in making absolute and relative uh, cell references here sometimes you might get confused in in the mix reference and most of the people get confused in the mix reference that which uh, raw or which column we have to make absolute and which column and raw we have to make relative so by column by using the column function uh, you don't have to care about the relative and absolute you just have the serial numbers likewise so i will edit this formula and instead of g1 i will write column a1 that's it enter copy and uh, paste a spatial and pasting the formulas copy and pasting the formulas from the paste spatial the shortcut key is alt e s and select formulas okay and you just get your desired outcome now you don't have to use this helper raw you can delete these uh, serial number from here still your formula works within the with the help of a column function okay 
so i hope uh, that uh, asan you have uh, understand that how this logic has been created if you have further queries do write in the comment box thank you